Today I'm going to go over the uh, N9labs.com dual band Slim Jim. It's uh, made, it's tuned for MERS and GMRS. MERS is a Slim Jim, okay? What that means is it's the J-pole and then at the, the top folded over you have another element coming back down. It's supposed to lower the actual angle of radiation and provide a little extra gain. Now that is extremely debatable on um, whether it does that or not, but that's the theory on these. I didn't buy it specifically for that. I bought it because it's a well-made dual band for MERS and GMRS. It's very portable. You can take it, you can toss it up in a tree, you can hang it up, get some quick elevation for a, a HT and increase your range. Um, MERS it does very well because it's taking you know it's taking what would be six seven eight inch HT antenna but what you do is you have a half wave for MERS at the bottom what you have here is a quarter wave tuning section and then you have a half wave from here you have a half wave and a break all the way up to the top and then you have a half wave fold it over. To tune it for GMRS, what he's done is he's taken, he's put a little trap right here in the middle. It's like he, it looks like he used um, coax cable to do so. What it does is, is it, it enables it to tune up on GMRS, but it's only as a single J-pole from here in, at the bottom section because of the nature of it. It's, it's a sacrifice on GMRS, but it does provide gain over, you know, a quarter wave antenna on the HT. It's a half wave on GMRS. And the fact that you can get it higher in the air is more beneficial than the gain of the antenna. So getting up in the air will provide more distance. Do a little SWR testing on it and see how well it's tuned. Real quick, what this is, I'm going to hang it um, about an inch off of a metal hook. Metal's going to interact with it, but I'm using a little zip tie to try to get a little bit of gap from there. I'm just going to hang it in, this, in the room here. There's nothing really right beside it that's metal. Okay, first critter up is going to be the MERS, BTEC MERS. I'm going to do channel 1, 151, 820. I'm going to keep testing 1, 2, 1, 2. SWR is point is 1.05 sweet and we'll go to MERS 5 which is the other end of the spectrum 154 600 testing 1 2 1 2 wow look at that flat as a pancake 1.00 okay let's go down one and 57.100 3, 1.05, 1.06, looks like uh, MERS does very well, very well, it's excellent. Let's move on to GMRS. Okay, next up we're going to do the Wotion. The battery's a little bit weak, so we may not get full power, but we're going to try channel 1. Testing 1, 2, 1.16. Let's go to channel 8. Flat as a pancake on the low power side there. Nice. Let's go 15, 1.18. Wow. And 22. 22 is 1.14. Okay, we're going to try 15 with repeater. That's your push up to the 467 frequencies. So it'll be 5 megahertz up. See what makes a difference. 1.08. Outstanding. Let's go up to 22. That'll be the highest frequency that you'll transmit on GMRS. 1.1. Excellent. Like I said, don't knock it radio for the power output because the battery is not totally charged up. As a matter of fact, it's been sitting for quite a while, and you can see that the uh, battery indicator shows that it's missing a bar there. But normally it puts out four watts. So there you have it. This uh, antenna is very well tuned. It, tuning 
low w low swr does not always mean that it's uh, an efficient radiator it does mean that it's not sending hardly any rf back to the radio so you can use it safely not damage transmitter also one thing to keep in mind is that the, an antenna is a system it's not just the element itself it's just sur everything surrounding it so if i put this some other location near a bunch of metal the swr may creep up quite a bit if it's got something um, reacting to the rf radiated so you want to make sure with the j-pole that or a slim jim that it is clear and free in space as much as you can no metal nearby and other large objects will it will change the radiation pattern and it will change, affect the SWR. Anyway, I hope this is a little informative, a little helpful if you are like deciding you know, whether this is a, be a good antenna to use or not. It is tuned for what uh, it's supposed to be tuned for. Let's go over some of the build quality real quick. I chose a in connector. It was like two bucks more for it, which I think is a pretty good deal. It looks pretty good here. The pin, I think it's gold plated. Um, nice sh heat shrink on the on the tip of it here. Let's go look and see what the other side looks like. Okay, a little bit close here. Excuse me, the elements folded over, soldered very well, very cleanly. Um, and it's a good quality ladder line. Here you have shrink on the actual trap that he installed it's got a little spacer here to help keep it keep keep the distance the same it looks like it's weathered fairly well here and as you go along here is the notch cut here and as you get down to this end it's got a nice little piece of velcro strap that he stuck on here that you can form a loop and tie it off and let's pull this away real quick so you can see the bottom of it and the main connection right here is where you put the coax on one side the shield on the other it looks like it's weathered real nice he has it closed here this end Appears to be weathered very well. And then you got the bottom piece folded over and tie wrapped coax right there. And then it's like it has a ferrite choke right here, which is necessary for J pole. You need to have a choke of some sort. Keep the RF from going back down the outside of the shield. Um, he has one built in right here and it's weathered. And I got the 16 foot cable. He offers it in 10 and 16. So there you go. It's uh, very well constructed. I'm pretty impressed with the capability of this. I would have made it cheaper myself. Like I said, this is uh, pretty impressive the way he has put this thing together. I don't know the guy, um, but I am impressed with the antenna he makes. And, you know, to me, it was a pretty good price. You can make it cheaper. Yes, you could. But. You would save a couple a couple of bucks, but I mean, this quality is pretty sweet. I'm, I'm, I think this is a really good job construction-wise for a J-Pole. Hope this has been uh, helpful to you, and uh, thanks for watching.